Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You're on Alpha Omega occasionally. And on this occasion, I have discovered a eureka moment, or I've, ha I've experienced a eureka moment. I spoke about this briefly in one other video about YouTube Shorts and what it can do to your channel. Well, in this video, I've got proof of what it can do to your channel. It's both, both positive and negative. If you're interested, stay tuned. So, YouTube Shorts. In the previous video, I did mention that I was putting up shorts, and maybe I didn't mention it, but I was putting up shorts at the rate of about no less than two to five or six a day. Because my channel, The Big Picture El Panorama, that's not this channel, it's my main channel, The Big Picture El Panorama, I interview up to seven girls a night, and each interview can be made into a short. It's as simple as that. A short can be anything from 15 seconds up to a minute and my videos are tailor-made for that. But you see, when I was doing that, my channel started to grow incredibly fast. I went from something like 50,000 subscribers to over 100,000 subscribers. I don't know what the time frame was, but it was a couple of months. It was huge. But you see, there lies a problem, you see, and I didn't realize it at the time that I had built my 50,000 subscribers prior to putting up shorts. I had built that loyal subscriber base based on the long form videos that I had been and am still creating. But you see, the subscribers that subscribe to the shorts don't know what they're subscribing to. In other words, you watch a short on your smart TV, you click subscribe, do you know what channel the short comes from? You probably don't. So by and large, you're going to get a huge amount, your, your channel will grow hugely, but the subscriber base from the shorts ain't necessarily lo what you would call loyal subscribers that follow your channel. And therefore, when you reach a stage like I have now on the big picture of Panorama, just shy of 115,000 subscribers, um, you'll find that your views don't correlate with the amount of subscribers that you have. Now, I have, I've gone through, let's say, gone through a period, of, gone through, went, I went through a period of the doldrums um, while uploading shorts up to about a week or so ago where I was getting the lowest two and a half thousand views for one video. This is what over, at that stage, over 114,000 subs, um, two and a half thousand views. There's not really much to speak of with 114,000 subs. So um, it would average about three, four, touching 5,000 if I was lucky. But since I've stopped uploading shorts this week, every video that I put up has just gone underneath, reached only 10,000 views per video. That's a 100% increase. And it's not just a coincidence. It's happened with the last three consecutive, four consecutive videos that I put up. Check the channel, The Big Picture El Panorama. You'll see it. So by not putting up shorts, I have increased my views on my long form videos. I think that shorts, if you put up a long form and then put up a short in it that same day, they will compete against each other. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I can tell you this much. I was putting up two, three, four, five shorts per day. And that was having an effect on the long form video views that I was getting. And it's long form videos is where you get your revenue. Short form videos, put it this way, if you want to get any kind of revenue in a short form video, you've got to have your, your views in the millions. If you want any kind of revenue on your long form videos, you've got to have your views in the thousands. So there you go. If you want to be a short channel, go ahead and be a short channel. You've got to, you've got to be able to produce at a huge rate in order to guarantee, excuse me, guarantee any form of, let's say, substantial income. Um, if you're going to be a long form creator, this is my experience, 
go ahead and put up a short every now and again but if you're doing what I was doing and putting them up at two three four and five a day it's well it it seems to have had a negative effect on my long-form views so there you go so I've, incre I've increased my revenue, I've increased my views, well I've increased my views, therefore I've increased my revenue on my long form by curtailing, if not completely stopping, putting up shorts. And I do understand that it's an initiative that YouTube has to counteract the competition, let's say, and shorts will help your channel explode. But if you're interested in having your channel explode with loyal subscribers, shorts may not be the way to go for you look let me know what your experience is um, I'd be eager to find out um, but from me I can tell you since I have curtailed or stopped altogether putting up shorts my views on my long-form videos have increased and by default the revenue on those videos has increased so I hope you've enjoyed this it's almost a rant really um, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed already, now is the time to do so. Share the channel, share the video, do all those wonderful things, and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.